What's going on, Bears fans? Nicholas Morneau here alongside my guy, Patrick Norton. After the Bears dominated the Carolina Panthers 36 to 10 here at Soldier Field. I mean, when we think about this game, Patrick, we saw the offense kind of do its thing. But what are you mm -hmm. most impressed with? There's a lot of things that I think uh, showed out in this game against the Panthers. I think everyone's going to be talking about the improvement of Caleb Williams yeah. through five weeks. How about the improvement of the entire team through five weeks? And that's coaching staff, everybody involved. Uh, we, we've seen a better game plan, a better script. Yeah. Uh, we finally saw, you know, scoring in the first quarter. And then the defense really picked it up. They struggled on that first drive, but from there on, they, they were really solid, and forcing the two turnovers was a, was a really big deal for this offense, too. Well, Patrick, they also used your guy, Doug Kramer, in, they did. No, lo, in low red zone. They, they brought did. out another offensive lineman. But like you said, things are just kind of making sense for what Shane Walder is doing with the weapons that he has. When you get low in the red zone, bring in Roshan Johnson. Hey, DeAndre Swift still got a touchdown in this game, but you're, you're just seeing personnel-wise that the Bears are – doing things I think the right way what they should have been doing but they're doing it now at least after this week four victory well and we call this vibe five. check yeah, and, and yeah. we and we call this vibe check and and you know I don't want to I don't want to harp on it too much because they got the win and everyone was really happy and jovial afterwards mm -hmm. but the vibe for DeAndre Swift when Roshan Johnson got that first touchdown was not exactly great True. and that's fine I yeah. would be upset with it too and it also seemed that he probably scored on the on the play before mm -hmm. and they just didn't review it so it was nice to see him get that that shot at redemption and then uh, and, and score. And then later in the game, I don't know what he was doing when he tried to hurdle the pile, but <laughs> yeah, everyone was feeling it at that yeah. point. So No, um, that, it was nice to see that. It, it was also tr just nice to see some of those explosive plays happen yep. in this game, Patrick, because up to this point, the Bears had struggled with that. But you see the big plays of DJ Moore, his two touchdown receptions. And it's good to just see – there was this whole narrative that Caleb and DJ weren't on the same mm -hmm. page, that they're tired of each other. That could be farthest from the truth. They're, no. they're scoring now with touchdowns on big plays, just showing progression and what their development has been through the first five games of the season. So that was nice to see. But like you said, defensively, I mean, when you hold a team to 10 points, like things are good. Things are good. Now you're going to be in London. Yes. Can they keep the vibes high? I think so. I mean, the Jacksonville Jaguars have been trying to figure things out for, you know, the first five weeks, and it hasn't gone their way. But I think this was a much-needed win that they need to have. Convincing, you beat up on a bad team, and it looks like that. So I think the vibes are going to be high uh, flying over over the pond, as they say. To, over uh, the pond. Like All right, perfect. All right, well, that's vibe check. Talk about the vibes. Soldier Field rocking today. Mm -hmm. Bears win 36-10. Uh, on to week six. On to London. On to face the Jags. See you then. Walk, 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 walk. We all city like the mayor. 